So I have the following matrix A. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the thing, what that thing is here. It shouldn't exist. Um, so I want to do a QR decomposition of that matrix. Okay. So A equals QR, and I want to use the Hausler transformation to do so. Okay. Here is my formula for the Hausler transformation. So identity matrix minus two times U U transpose over U transpose U. My vector u is given by x minus x prime, x being the first column vector of a, so this one here. And the x prime has as first element the norm of that vector x, so the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. This is the first component of the vector x prime, and all other components are 0. So my vector u is uh, the following, so 1 minus square root of 6, 2 and 1, okay? So uh, I have my vector u, so now I can plug everything into my householder formula to get my householder matrix. So I plug in my vector u, my vector u transpose here, and uh, the dot product of the vector u with itself which can be written he as here as u transpose u, okay? So um, the first component squared of the vector u, so 1 minus square root of 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. And uh, I have the, ident the identity matrix here, and uh, it is in three dimensions because A is in three dimensions. Uh, is a 3 by 3 matrix here. And uh, after computing everything, so you can do it by hand or you can plug, plug that into a calculator, you should get the following matrix here. So uh, 0 0.41, 0 0.82, 0 0.41, 0 0.82, negative 0 0.13, negative 0 0.56, 0 0.41, negative 0 0.56, and 0 0.72. So this is our first householder, householder transformation. If we now apply it to A, again, you can do the calculation by hand, you can plug that into your calculator. As expected, uh, the first column vector only has the first component, which is non-zero. And this first component here, so square root of 6, is the norm of the old uh, column vector. Okay, so it's the norm of the vector x. Basically, the first column vector is now x prime, okay, if you compare it. Uh, square root of 6, 0, 0. Okay, the other elements as 0 as we wanted. And uh, here we have the result for the other, uh, other numbers. Okay, we get the following. Now what you want to do is only consider this submatrix here. Okay, so uh, the submatrix 0 0.13, 0 point, uh, negative 1.13, 0 0.56, and 1.44. Okay. And uh, just for information, this is 4.08 and 3.27. So now, if I only consider this submatrix here, my first column vector of this submatrix is the vector 0 0.13, sorry, 0 0.13, 0 0.56. So this here. This is my first column vector. So this is my vector x now. My vector x prime is again the norm or the length of that vector x. So square root of 0 0.13 squared plus 0 0.56 squared. Now u can again be obtained by x minus x prime. So we get uh, that u is 0 0.13 minus the square root of 0 0.13 squared plus 0 0.56 squared. And uh, the second component is 0 0.56. Now I have my vector u, I can plug it again in my formula, but this time it's a um, 2 by 2 uh, matrix, because we consider the submatrix. And the, so the identity matrix is also a 2 by 2 matrix. So we get the following, we plug everything in, and we should get the following householder matrix. 0 0.22, 0 0.98, 0 0.98, negative 0 0.23. Negative 0.23. Now, to be able to multiply uh, A's A times H1 by the second householder matrix, we need to have the same number as dimensions as before. So you need to make the second householder transformation at 3x3 three three matrix. We do so by putting the 2x2 uh, the two two householder uh, uh, matrix in the place of the submatrix of before. 
okay? And in the diagonal, we, p we put a 1, and elsewhere we put a 0, okay? So in the place of the submatrix that we considered before, we put the um, house of the matrix that we got in, this, in those lower dimensions. In the diagonals, in the remaining diagonals of the matrix, we put 1s, and we put 0 elsewhere. So now the dimensions match, they match again, okay? We can now multiply a times h1 by this h2. And now again we get the following result. The, the numbers outside the submatrix didn't change, okay? That is because we put it a 1 in the diagonal and a 0 elsewhere outside the submatrix. And in the, in the submatrix, the first column vector has 0 as second component and the first component is 0 0.58 which is actually the length or the norm of the old first column vector of the submatrix okay so 0 0.58 is basically the square root of 0 0.13 squared plus 0 0.56 squared okay so the first column vector of this submatrix is x prime basically okay uh okay so okay and um yes so now we have our upper tri upper triangle matrix r okay if you notice, and uh, um, remember that a is equal is equal to q r and q transpose a is equal to r. So that implies that given that if we apply h one and h two to a, we get r, and that q transpose a is also equal to r. We know that q transpose is equal to h uh, one times h two. So q is equal to the transpose of h two and a, uh, times h one, well, the, the, the product of h one and a h2, the transpose of this product, so it is equal to um, h2 transpose times h1 transpose, okay, in, from right to left, okay. And so that's it, so we did our QR in composition of a matrix, uh, so this Q is, as said, is uh, can be obtained by taking the transpose of the product of all the household transformation applied to a matrix, after all those transformations, we got our upper tri triangle matrix R. And I remember the geometric meaning of what we did. We had um, a column vector, X, okay, and we reflected it in such a way across a hyperplane that we don't really care about, in such a way that the re um, resulting reflection X prime lies on a coordinate axis. So that the first component of this reflection is the length or the norm of the old vector, okay, so the norm of x, and all other components are zero, okay? That, that's basically what we did several times, Con um, considering also sub-dimensions of the matrix A, okay, by considering here um, the 2 by 2 sub-matrix of the matrix A. So uh, that's it, yeah? So uh, the tricky part is uh, probably to figure out this uh, vector u, and also by considering the sub-matrix, respectively the sub-sub-matrix, if you have a 4x4 four four matrix, uh, respectively the sub-matrix, sub-sub-matrix, and sub-sub-sub-matrix, if you have a 5x5 five five matrix, okay, you continue, you do that several times, and then you don't forget to put 1s in the diagonal and 0 elsewhere outside the, the place of the sub-matrix, and the, um, the household house transformation in lower dimensions in the place of this sub-matrix, to be able to multiply it with A. Don't forget that. That's very important. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching.